Hey everyone, how we doing today? We're gonna go back through this buyout, do a little bit more unboxing. You can see more of the stuff that we picked out and I hope you enjoy this. I know a lot of people love the storage unit videos but we do a little bit more than storage units and we wanted to make sure that you got to see all the good stuff that we're finding. This is like the find of the year for us. So hope you enjoy, let's get into it. We can see right here we have it's the what wildlife feeder so it's a hanging hanging deer feeder so um we can see we have in the box it's upside down it's already put together so we have that these are actually leather slings so i haven't comped these yet but they're from uh montana slings so uh, we have a brown and a black ones and what do we have in here Let's see. Ooh, we got bags. Bad Bull ML. Okay. So, let's get to digging in here. Let's see. What do we have in here? More bags, bags. Ultimately, we have. Ah, uh, it's a Bad Bull Powder Ram. That's what's in here. We'll open that in just a second and look a little bit more into it. What do we have in here? got rods okay what else Get this fortunately this gentleman actually uh spare pen he labeled a lot of this stuff so that we could this is craftsman ratchet It's in here with, what is it, protector model. And what is this? All right. Can we get that to focus? Barely, but that's what the ratchet's there for. And let's see, what does it say on the back? Custom 28 Bad Bull Breach Plug Tool. Second stage. Okay. And this Bad Bull Primer Tool. First stage. Okay. And see, it works well with the socket. Um. So, wow, what does that say? One pair bad bull breech plugs. What else do we have in here? We got some ramrods. Yeah. So, that's just a sheath or something for it this here yep so it actually opens up where you see it's kind of strung together all right what else do we have in this bag look at that I see this says here Loaded speed loaders. Pittman. Hmm. Oh. Loaded. Yeah, what does this say? Yeah, that there's a difference. You can fill it in the weight. These are empty. So these are empty and these are a little bit heavier. 
IMR 450 140 grain. So that says top. What is this? Bad bull cushion. And these are your primers. So it looks like this is the bag for the muzzle loaders. Uh, what does it say? Bad bolt. Bad bull bolt. I don't feel a bolt in there more than just a leather bag, but I could be wrong. What is this? Short starter with the Wonder Wands. And what it is. It's the Federal Premium. So let's see. What's Federal Premium? Large Magnum Rifle. 100 quantity. These are primers. Okay. These were opened back on, what, December 2nd of 2016. So, yeah, this guy kept some good, meticulous records here. Uh, yep. All right. Uh, there we go. It's got some, so basically, I don't know if these are in that bag, but this... Pack here is almost gone. What else do we have in here? Anything? A couple more things right over here. The top pad for the bad bull cushion. And this is another bolt case. Okay. And what do we have here? Looks like, uh, yep, outdoor gear. Jerseys. Extra large camouflage. Here is a pack strut. So this is definitely, you know, I know Lisa was like, ah, she doesn't like the fanny pack idea, but here's another Jersey's extra large camo. This is a sweatshirt by Jersey's extra large. So you got the shirt, sweatshirt, the sweatpants. Ooh, so we have the whole outfit here. And here's the zip up hoodie. And who is this by? jersey so okay that here's Cabela's what size is this we've had some good luck with some of the Cabela's stuff already it's an extra large and a little headgear This is what another headgear maybe yep there it is yeah so this this guy was all about the hunt so here's the XL so yeah okay that actually will go well on eBay as well um, it's that time of year so we know the hunters are out and I know I reached out to a buddy of mine already and he was in a tree sent me a picture I text him and he had a <laughs> he had a um, deer right underneath the his tree stand so text me back and told him to give him a call later but let's see what do we have in this box right here? And now that we got that off the stack, what do we have? Well, down at the bottom, a nice Maxwell House coffee mug. I don't know if that's vintage. Those are just jars. 
not much to that. What is this? Just a grater. Hmm. And a sandwich bag. Interesting. Uh, sifter, juicer, press. So, yep. That's that. I like this box here. This is Colt. What is the Colt? It looks like <laughs> this is a scope. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, in the box of dishes, we find what does that say? Butler Creek Corp. Belgrade, Montana. Okay. So I don't think this is a Colt, but, oh, there it is, yep. So, whoo, that's gonna be interesting. We'll have to look that up in a second. And then we have what? Yosemite. few plates here. What are these? These are Courier Ives. The old grist mill. Okay. So we got a stack of those. Alright, so what's in here? Remote Hideaway 40 channel. Channel what? CB radio. Okay, what do we have? What is this? This is CB. Oh, little clips and stuff for the headset or handset. Here are all the directions, the manuals. What is this here? This is oh multiple outlet. So you put into your little electrical cigarette outlet, and now you can make it two. All right, and this has some weight, so I think this might actually be in there. Let's see. Pull this out. Easily mounts under seat on firewall in trunk. All right. Oh, wow. Not only is it in there, it was never set up. This is still brand new in the box. And Wow, that was an awesome find in that box. So we're going to go to this box that says pool table. Ain't this another box? We got to get through the boxes anyway. And I heard something metal in here. Oh. It's a metal ball rack. Hmm. You know what? Let's pull this box down. What is this? Solid brass billiard lamps and cue racks. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I bet I know what that's for. You know, you get the little caulk powder for your hand. That's probably that holder. You got thread there. And this is another one. Except... Yep, there we go. Yeah, 
idea. This one here, you can put on the wall. Okay. And same with that one. So this is a second one. You can see through the bag, there was two of those. And what was this? Got no clue. Looks like hardware. I see a little wire connector. So I don't know. Full uh, table cover. Boot laces, laces, laces. Huh. This is a bag full of laces. And here's some thread right there down below. So next we got these are some browning boots. Size 12. Let's see. Let's crack this open. Yeah, look at these. Here's the boots, but you can see the bottom. They, they don't even look like they were worn. So, they've just been in the box. Which this is the big reason we made the offer we did. We couldn't see much more than it was boxes of boots um and with the with the boots you know we had to figure out well if we could sell the boots and the things that we did see for 50 bucks a pop that's where we came up with the idea that we probably make get up to about a thousand dollars chippewa look at these boots again doesn't even look like they've been worn. What size are these? Let's see. Um, here's, there we go. Here we are. Size 12D. Okay. So these are a size 12 as well. And here we have... is a tackle box but the question is wow is it stocked well we got this on this side uh, there we go oh there we are we do have some lures in here, all right. So that is open, here's some fishing line. If we flip to the other side, you can see, now that we know how to do that, it does have some hooks. Let me be careful not to poke myself here. Yeah, so we definitely have this side yeah there we go so it's definitely got stuff in it yeah, what is this look at that that is a nice fillet knife right there so we got all the utensils needed to not only go fishing but you know process our catch as well providing it didn't need to get tossed back <laughs> dividers you kind of add them in and make it how you need to wow and as you know in our online sales or you may not know fishing tackle goes well so um here we are unopened more gun cases moose brand gun case these are all still in the package hmm. I'm not gonna lie we've been selling gun cases like crazy on eBay because of this so yeah I mean it's all going on eBay and I'm we look at it these are the soft cases too so 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm figuring it's about 10, 10 to 12 of those in here. We can sell those for 10 bucks a pop on eBay. That is another $100, $120 in profit. You know, now, yeah, we'll lose some fees on it, which is about 12 to 15%. But, I mean, hey, if, let's say it's 15%, even 20%. That's $80 pure profit because we've already made our money back here. Um, and if you haven't seen the first video where I threw up everything that we sold out of that first video, um, if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. These are brand new safety safety step shoes. What size? Size 12W. I mean, brand new in the box. If it's brand new in the box, it could be worth some money. Kick that out the way, and here we are. And this is a solid. 3510 Phantom. What are these? I believe these are probably sinkers but let's see because this is a pretty heavy yep there they are Wow Yeah, this is a pretty heavy pack right here what is this gunsmith screwdriver kit action sling okay Here, there's that. What is this? It says the fat wrench. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. All right. That'll go in our online sales. Well, what is this? Excalibur crossbow siding level okay that's it right there all right we got a nike box oh look at those nikes there wow <laughs> that is some old school reminds me of some old school 70s nikes Woohoo! got the wow well, let's see. Um, let's see if we can figure out a year. Went to the bottom of the box. We ended up finding these shoes. 813 is the model number. 12 is the size. 2155 back. Westgate Mall is a local mall to this area. And it was in, well, May 6, 1985 is when these were bought. Wow. And they never wore them. They've just been sitting in a box. That's crazy. So these are unworn brand new shoes from 1985. <laughs> crazy. And where's the model number? There's a model number right there. Size 12, 8409.11. And here we got what? More Excalibur crossbow stuff. So... Let's see, can I get this pulled out? First, let's see if we can pull this out. Oh man, there we go. I'd say that was one handed, but it was not. We'll open it. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. More. Oh, those are definitely sharp these are crossbow bolts nice Whew. got another box of those yeah buddy and this one's light so if anything's in it or was that it no this is this was the crossbow that was in here what it was but it's not in here it's just an empty box 
so it's definitely empty. So yeah, they kept all the good hunting stuff, but uh, they definitely they kept the guns, the crossbows, but uh, we definitely got a ton of good accessories that's well paid for this buyout here. Let's see. I don't know what this is. Let's see if we can cut this open. It says up top M14, two synthetic, two leather slings. And let's open this box. And we have, oh, look at that. One, two. Oh, that's not a sling here. Wow. That's not a sling. This is a brand new. It's like the butt M14. Sling. Sling. What's this? Wow. Nice. Well. We got some parts in there. We got a CB radio here. What is this? This is Galaxy right there. All right, we got a lot still to go through. We're almost done right over here. And hope you guys are enjoying seeing us dig through this in more detail. Yeah, we still have all that. We got some fishing rods back there. We got we got this shooting bench here. So we get to pull that out and see if that's uh, still new in the box. And then give you a sneak preview. This will be coming up. We had a consigner drop off more ephemera, vintage paper, and collectibles. So we'll be going through that next. <laughs> 